Well, guess what? The Liverpool B team fared better in Madrid than the A team did at Anfield. Brendan Rodgers took a calculated gamble in, re in resting most of his uh, first 11, and to a large extent it came off. Although many Liverpool fans will have misgivings about the club coming here with such a defensive and negative mindset, effectively raising the white flag before the kickoff. They can be proud of the performance itself, particularly Colo Torre. Moreno, the left back, was superb, and Mignolet in goal uh, kept Real Madrid out with a series of saves. Roland Ronaldo had an off day in pursuit of Raul's all time Champions League goal scoring record, and Madrid were a bit too casual and sloppy, really, to put Liverpool away. Rodgers, I think, had one eye on the Saturday lunchtime kickoff against Chelsea. And in that respect, Chelsea's 2 0 win there in April, which wrecked Liverpool's chances of winning the title, I think, has wormed its way into Brendan Rodgers' thinking. He may have attached too much importance to that game, thinking it was a pivotal fixture in Liverpool's campaign, whereas in fact it's, a, it's really another three pointer, a November Premier League fixture with not much hanging on it. So he may have overestimated the importance of that match. At the same time, he sent a message to his squad that the starting 11 at the moment isn't clear because Liverpool's form is so ordinary and he's given a number of fringe players a chance to uh, put pressure on the, on the stars and to force their way into the team. That's no bad thing, but at the same time, there's a feeling of unease here, really, that Liverpool, uh, Liverpool did this. It's, they're five-time European Cup winners. They're one of the most illustrious names in European football. It doesn't really fit with the competition and it doesn't fit with their history that they should they should rest so many players in the most glamorous game of their season. But they will go to back to Anfield, I think, buoyed with a bit of confidence from this performance. And if they can result against Chelsea and get some revenge for that defeat last uh, April, then I think they'll start to feel better about themselves and maybe get this uh, Premier League campaign going.